Posted on Facebook, a man from Wilmington now facing federal charges. Prosecutors say the convicted felon threatened to burn a local mosque and harm Muslims. Seven Stan Housley live at the federal courthouse in Southie with more for us. Dan? Well, this guy made it easy for investigators posting it from his own Facebook account, but it's not just what he said that got such pe set people so worried, it's also when he said it. This is the Facebook posting that landed a Wilmington man in court. A mosque silhouetted over flames and the words, burn your local mosque. The poster also wrote, hello, expletive, followed by a smiley face. The posting appeared on the Facebook page of the Islamic Society of Boston two days after the Paris terror attacks. According to court papers, mosque officials say it's not unusual for them to see such threats, but coming so soon after the Muslim-inspired mass murder, Mosque officials worried this one might be more serious. Investigators digging deeper into the Facebook poster's account say they found previous comments praising mosque attacks, including the burning of a mosque in Missouri and vandalism of the nearby Islamic Society of Burlington. A post on the suspect's account read, Whoever did this, I expletive love you, adding I drive past these all the time and have always wanted to run the expletive sign over. At his initial appearance in federal court today, the 44-year-old electrician and lineman was charged with making threats and being a felon in possession of ammunition. Investigators searched the Wilmington man's home today and say Facebook postings showed them the suspect collecting, building, and trading weapons. Neighbors surprised by all the activity. I mean, I'm not be crazy, that's all. You think those things and to speak big mouth. In court papers, the investigators say the suspect once told them he drinks too much. He also said he was sorry for the mosque posting, didn't mean any harm, and that he needs to smarten up as he is too old to act this way. The suspect's previous felony convictions were for drunk driving and for assault. He's being held pending a dangerousness hearing later this week. We're live outside federal court in South Boston. Dan Housley, 7 News. And we're following other news today.